Another question you guys have is, Jason, why did you not make this throat depth really tall? Because I want to put really big parts in here. And there's a couple easy answers for that. And it all stems from, uh, oh, the first main reason is the workbench height. So this is a 36 inch uh, tall table. Now, as you can imagine, the jaw is getting taller from here. Let's just say we added another four inches, which is this height. Now, all my work is gonna be done at this elevation. Now, can you imagine doing all your work at this high? This would be very uncomfortable and it just doesn't seem practical for the 2% of the time that I need that taller throat. Uh, most of the time, you're gonna be dealing with smaller parts, uh, so having this lower height is going to be beneficial. The other thing too is the taller the jaws get, the more leverage uh, and the part is gonna be exerting onto the vise itself, which is gonna potentially uh, make the, the vise break faster. Uh, so then the vise has to get beefier and heavier and stronger uh, to accommodate those forces, which brings the price up, uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is still a five inch throat, which means you can clamp a 10 inch diameter part in here pretty easily. And then I'm going to be generating and making some bigger vice jaws to get you a little bit extra elevation and some taller jaws if you want to add those on for those rare times. But I think for the majority of the people, this is a good working elevation. Uh, and just by adding the swivel base, the, the body, the jaw, the, the height just starts getting really tall. So it just does not feel practical to have a really tall jaws. And I think that just the vice is so big that it makes this distance look small, when all reality, this is a pretty big throat already. So that's one or two different reasons why I decided to keep it at this uh, dimension.